Greetings folks, here I have an intriguing white box from Banggood. It's marketed as the Sky Surfer X9 version 2. I have reviewed the XUAV Sky Surfer X8, which is a, a wonderful Bixler 1 style uh, pusher learner plane. Really, really nice. This is either a new version or a different version, I'm not too sure, we'll find out anyway. So we have the instruction manual, uh, it is labelled as the Sky Surfer, looks like a chubbier body uh, and it's meant to have more FPV capability, nice uh, whale tail shaped horizontal stabiliser, looks like it slots in there, that looks cool, a couple of wings with the stickers already on them, the servos already mounted, wing spar, Vertical stabiliser, that's a nice sexy shape. Uh, I've got a little motor here. What's the motor? Motor is a 26-22-1950 kV. Little 5 by 45 prop. 20 amp ESC, a wire lead, push rods and control horns. And we've got the little prop adapter there as well. Vertical stabiliser has a little plastic mount there. It looks like it screws in from underneath. Nice looking wings. The stickers are coming off. I might just rip them off anyway. A spar going to about there. Nice big ailerons. Quite flexy, not reinforced at all. Uh, looks like the wing connection method has changed, instead of having a clamp on wing like the X8, it's a sort of a slot in wing. I like the shape of the tail, it's just a really interesting shape, it's quite flexy. So this is, as it is, it's going to be a sort of a mild performance plane, I guess. Very lightweight, good glider probably. I see on the Banggood website there are a couple of versions of this. Uh, one of them actually has a, a V-tail configuration, and I thought I might be getting that one, but uh, this turns out to be just the normal tail configuration, which is cool. I prefer normal tail anyway, more efficient I think. Works better. Now the fuselage, look at that, that's quite a big chunky uh, fuselage section there. Well, yes, and there's a lot of room in there. Okay, so this is going to work as a, an FPV plane very well. Heaps and heaps of room. And we've got a plywood tray and we've already got the uh, rudder and elevator servos mounted there. Push rods, reinforcing spar. So although this is marketed as a Sky Surfer X9, I think it's a totally different plane, actually. Different shape, everything's different about it. Everything's totally different. Uh, look at the shape of the wing. It's got this nice little curved back look to it. Um, all right, so putting it together, we have a Hornet 20 amp ESC, 2S to 4S. And we also get some uh, ESC wire connection, uh, extensions, which slide in up here. So there we go. ESC extensions coming out here, connect up to the motor. So the motor sits in there nicely, and you would glue that in, I guess. It has a Dean's connector on there, so you need to, need to change that if you have to, to XT60. Uh, the control horns are screw-in type, so I'll go ahead and put the control horns on the ailerons and the elevator and rudder. The tail actually screws on rather than glues on, although gluing would probably be a good idea. It has this sort of block here that slots into a moulded hole in there, like that. And then the rudder bolts through into these holes here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, the wings, the wings sort of Click together like a jigsaw puzzle. I would glue them in myself. 
because I don't need to take them apart. These control horns are about the easiest ones I've ever put on. The screws screw in easily. Uh, it's often a quite a hassle to get them in, I find, but they were very easy. Now you will have to drill out the uh, servo arms so that the push rods will fit or either heat this up in a flame and uh, sort of push it through. Pull off the arm to do that too so I don't ruin the wing. I'm going for the second hole down where it'll be a little bit stronger. And I've just noticed that the, the wing has quite a decent under camber too, so this is going to be a very good floaty glider, really good slope soarer too, I'd imagine. Probably not very aerobatic, but uh, it's going to be a good slow flyer. Should be a really good beginner's plane, I think. So that's a decent amount of throw, so I reckon that's going to be about right for it. They have also thoughtfully provided the little safety bands to put onto push rods as well, which is always a good idea. So that just clips on there to stop the little clip coming off. All right, so now all I have to do is glue the motor in. I have checked that the motor is rotating in the correct direction, otherwise I'd have to swap over two of those ESC leads. It is definitely rotating in the right direction. Gonna pop a bit of glue on there, and I'll glue the tail on as well. Not too much glue, because I may want to pull this out in the future. Make sure it's turning freely. That's good. That'll set nicely. Now the tail, I'm just going to lop a bit of glue in here. And make sure that the tail is level with the wing. And that looks good. I've also put a little bit of tape on the uh, hatch cover so that it comes out nice and easily. Check the balance. I needed a 2200 3S up in the nose to get the balance in a reasonable spot, thickest part of the wing. I'll measure that later on and I'll tell you about the exact measurement and the all up weight at that. is about 700 grams. That's a nice weight. It's going to be a floater. 